We're seeing those on and off showers persist through the evening. They do tend to taper off as we head into late evening and into the overnight hours, but that was not the case last night. All those showers and storms that woke you up just like they did for me. Now pushing off to the east, we're still seeing a lot of that thunderstorm activity offshore. I'm going to overlay lightning now. So you heard the thunder. If there's thunder, there's lightning, and you can see it here on our radar maps as it moves toward uh, Galveston, Bolivar Peninsula, out towards Sabine Pass, into portions of Louisiana where there are now two uh, current ongoing flash flood uh, warnings for Lake Charles, out toward uh, Cameron and Jennings, um, all going to be under that threat. If you are traveling, say to visit family and friends this Easter weekend along I 10 to Louisiana to New Orleans, taking that road, be careful of possible flooding conditions. To the north of us along 45, Madisonville, Huntsville, New Waverly, getting some more showers and thunderstorms after they seen a significant amount of rainfall over the course of the past 24 hours going into yesterday. Going now into our current temperatures, it's a little chilly out there. 57 here in Houston, Cleveland at 58, Conroe sitting at 54 with all that cloud cover and that rainfall staying persistent throughout our day. Our high temperature is not going to be rising very high. Houston 64 degrees, Conroe not breaking out of those 50s. That's the same story for a lot of our northwestern locations, College State. 56 Brenham 57 for your high today out along the coastline in Galveston 67 is your forecasted high. I wouldn't exactly call today a beach day. I don't think anyone would, but if you are out on the water, be aware of those strong rip currents that will be developing. They currently have a red flag status out along the coastline wave heights one to two feet with those winds blowing out of the northeast around 15 miles per hour at times. Check out that water temperature though above average for this time of year sitting at 72 degrees. Degrees. Our future cast showing these showers continuing to move through throughout the afternoon, tapering off by the evening. Cloud cover sticks around throughout the overnight hours and into your Saturday morning. They slowly, slowly but surely break up as we head into late in the day on our Saturday and going into our early Sunday morning quickly builds back in and the weekend not looking ideal. But the good news is that Sunday as you are getting out of those Easter services, Things will be dry for us for the evening time. Same story goes cloudy, but dry, which is I think all that we can ask for at this point is a break from the rainfall. Here's your Easter Sunday peeps 8 a.m. 60 degrees by noon. We'll be up at 70 73 by 2 p.m.